so today I am joined by my friends Jade and Cheryl and we're going to be sorting characters from one of my favorite shows Snowfall into what we believe to be their respective Hogwarts houses so let's just dive right on in and let's get to it so the first character we're going to be sorting today is Franklin Saint Franklin Saint is our series main protagonist slash bit of an anti-hero so ladies what do you think St. Franklin Saint would be sorted into? Just gonna write it. Just gonna write it. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna reveal it later. All right, and whenever you're ready, we can reveal. And three, two, one, Slytherin! Slytherin. <laughs> he is though. He really he is. is. I was gonna say, Franklin's very ambitious, super cutting. Mm -hmm. Very, very success, successful. Successful. Mm -hmm. That's why I said Slytherin. Cause right. The link you sent, the Tumblr page that really explains the Hogwarts houses. Very successful. Very proactive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Long-term thinker. You know, Slytherin gang, gang, gang. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. That's why I chose him was because, you know, Slytherin is all about ambition and getting that success. And it's that maniacal, like, conniving, like thinking ahead that like really just like pushes them that much further. Not always necessarily a bad thing, but like very ambitious. Very. So moving right along, we're going to talk next about Leon. Leon is Franklin's childhood friend and a very close confidant. So ladies, where do you think Leon belongs? I'm trying to like to make it look so it's not like we're cheating on tests. <laughs> it's like super close to me. <laughs> no one can see. Well, we probably got the same answer. <laughs> like, don't look. Okay. All right, ready? No one has my answer because it's bad. Ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. one. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I said I don't know. I really don't know. All right, so two Hufflepuffs. I I'll take it as a Hufflepuff. Mm -hmm. okay. So. The reason I consider Leon to be a Hufflepuff, he's extremely loyal, like to a mm -hmm. point where it's almost at a fault. Mm -hmm. And he also is very, very protective of Franklin. Yeah. And his other friends and associates, he's like a little baby badger. Yeah. See, that's exactly why I chose um, Leon too, is because... He's extremely loyal, and that's one of the main Hufflepuff, like, attributes. But also, he's a very hard worker. Like, he's always trying to be down in the trenches, like, doing the work and stuff like that. And that's also another core value. So, it's like, it's kind of, like, a given for me. And nothing else popped in my head when I was thinking of Leon. I couldn't fit him into any other any other house. So, like, Hufflepuff real. was it for me. That's why I had issues, because I can definitely see Hufflepuff. But Leon's also very, um, he's a hothead. Mm. I don't know if that's, like... A characteristic of Hufflepuffs but that was the reason why I had hesitancy but I definitely don't see him anywhere else for sure not Slytherin for sure not a Ravenclaw you know but yeah I see Hufflepuff. all right so let's move right along next up we have Auntie Louie so Auntie Louie is what I consider Franklin's hand of the king if you will she's his <laughs> second in command and she's also Uncle Jerome's wife, who we'll be getting to next. So let's sort Louie. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. Ooh, really? Okay. Ooh. All right, since you're the Ravenclaw, you go first. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I chose Ravenclaw for um, Louis because she's very intelligent and you can tell that she's got like the skills to do what needs to be done. But I didn't pick Slytherin because I don't necessarily see her as that ambitious. Like while she does have the ambition, she's not really like conniving and she doesn't really like think ahead, which is why like she didn't build this shit brick by brick. Yeah. <laughs> Franklin Franklin did. Brick by brick. So like... I give her, I do give her props because I see her going there in the future, but like, just like as a start out, I thought she was more Ravenclaw than Slytherin. See, this is where I beg to differ because I feel like with Louis, she's a very big long-term thinker, which yeah. is why Franklin entrusts her when he's out mm -hmm. to be the one running everything. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a scene where Frank, when Franklin's coming back and Leon's like, you know, I didn't get into this, take orders from your auntie, and I 
believe the reason he chose her is because she's the most similar to him. For mm -hmm. sure. That's why I chose her. I think they're they're very kind of um similar just in the way they like maneuver business and like I think of um when she was laying in the hospital bed and uh, they were trying to figure out like how to uh, stop Khadija from killing everybody and she was like we have a black diamond in Dallas like she's very much a tactical I don't know I just thought Sylvain and she just reminds me a lot of Franklin I think they kind of mirror each other sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I think with her, she's very ends justified as the means. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she's willing to even throw people she has personal relationships under the bus at times. Right. Yeah. To get to her end goal. Well, let's not forget that callousness is kind of like a Ravenclaw thing too. And Ravenclaw True. and Slytherin kind of like teeter on a line. You know, they it's, really have a lot they're, of They're like really, really close to each other in mm -hmm. similarities. And it's just like that, you know, who's willing to go that one step further is you like know? the difference between. Slytherin and Ravenclaw. But I see where you guys are coming from on that. I see where you're coming from as well. <laughs> All right, so next up we have the lovable Uncle Jerome. I love Jerome. I just want that to be known by everybody. <sighs> he's my dad. Um, not really, but he's I was going to say dad. literally, but not literally. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> figuratively, that's my dad. Um, <laughs> All right, so ready? Three, two, one. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Uh, <laughs> Hufflepuff. Is that because I say he's like my dad? <laughs> well, because like, your dad's Hufflepuff. Yeah. No, but I actually had reasons for this. I can't remember. But you guys go. <laughs> so I chose a Gryffindor because he's very, very passionate, mm -hmm. courageous, headstrong. But he's also a bit of a really big of hothead. Like, he will just oh, react without yeah. thinking because he thinks it's the right thing to do. So then that's, so that kind of reminds me of Leon, too, though, because he's yeah. very much reactive in a hothead. I don't know. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the only reason why I lean with him being more of a Gryffindor versus Leon is he also served time in, like, the military, and it's very mm -hmm. courageous of you to do. That is, yeah. yeah. Brave yeah. And not only that, but, like, when, um, spoiler alert, but, um, uh, <laughs> In season four, there's a little shootout, and Man Boy's like, Yo, your uncle's down in the trenches with us. He's just yeah. like, blah, blah, blah. So, oh, should we say spoiler alert when it's like the new uh, season? I could throw back on. Okay. <laughs> we could throw that in later. Spoiler. Okay. Um, but yeah. That makes sense. Um, but he's also a very loyal guy. Yeah, yeah. I just thought it's like loyal. Um, I don't know. I just feel like Jerome, like at the beginning of everything, Jerome just kind of wanted to like live a nice, easy, low life, low life, low life. like just live low. Yeah. And like uh, due to like what's happening around him and him taking part in everything, obviously he has hands in Franklin's organization, but I just don't pick that up from him that he wants to be in it like he he kind of just wanted to sell his weed with his homies and his speaker business like you yeah. kind of chill i don't know so i just figured that was helpful but i don't know why <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense yeah it does make sense i mean i chose gryffindor because yeah like ariana said like he's brave and passionate and he's always like down down to ride like he's the first one sure. to want to start shit when shit needs to be started um but I totally see the point. Like, he is very loyal. Because even when he is mad at everybody, he's still down to ride. But, like, um, yeah, I think normally just, like, his passion and the fact that he's such a hothead, definitely, definitely Gryffindor. Mm, it's Gryffindor. like that passion could either, it could be, like, yay, passion, or it could be, like, passion. <laughs> it's Passionate. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, baby, Louis. And then it's like. Hey. Literally. Oh, that's true. Hey. He's a very passionate lover man, but also a fighter man. I love him. <laughs> All right. So moving along, we have Franklin's mom, who's also Jerome's big sister, Sissy Saint. Got the the thang. The Ooh. thang thang. Thang was thang so in wanging. the season finale. <laughs> I'm dead. If you haven't seen it, hurry up and watch it. Sissy's an interesting one to play, and it took this me a while to think for her. This is one of the characters. I In really three, did. two, one. I say Hufflepuff. I said Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff with a Ravenclaw moon. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we're kind of like a little bit similar, similar, similar okay. like, all, all over the place. We're so, all over the place on this one. So <laughs> my reason, reason for this. Yeah, I know. I was like, my reasoning for Hufflepuff with Sissy is her protectiveness. 
which is kind of like, I mean, it, it's a mom thing, I guess, mm -hmm. but she's very protective of Franklin. However, for her, a lot of her indecisiveness, I think, comes into play mm -hmm. when it's like in her heart, she knows what her son's doing is wrong. However, she feels the need that she has to protect him no matter what, even though it kind of goes against her moral code. Mm -hmm. But I do believe eventually enough will be enough for Sissy. Yes. Yeah. So that's my reasoning. So, it's not so that's why, kind of why I said Gryffindor, um, because she has like a moral code, there's definitely a morality to Sissy. And when I was trying to figure out what, how she was in, I was thinking of like season one Sissy, oh. who was like so righteous. Um, on that link you sent, that there was a, a, a description of Gryffindor's being like insufferably righteous, where he was offering to buy her house and she just didn't want any of his dirty money, which like she definitely had her code and stuck by it. And then as the show went on, like she, like you said, she's loyal to her son and she's a mother. And so like, that moral code kind of changed, I guess. Like, Sissy's an interesting character for sure, I think. Yeah. She's she's definitely hard to place. Because, like, mm -hmm. I chose Hufflepuff for her because of, like, the fairness and the morality and the way she just believes that you should just try and do the hard work and get there the right way. Like, that's definitely, like, very sissy in, like, season one. Um, and then I, you know, I chose Ravenclaw. Like, the reason why I was, like, teetering between Ravenclaw is because she's so intelligent and she uses it to, like, really get a lot... Like, when she finally, like, gets into it with Franklin, they're just, they're on top of their shit. They know what they need to move forward, how they're going to do better, how they're going to go make more money. Like, she's on top of it. Mm -hmm. And Franklin trusts her to, like, do, you know, the legit shit by herself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no worries. I can't. It's so funny. But, no, I totally agree with all of that. She's a very hard person to pin down. Yeah. yeah. I didn't hard. realize until trying to she's everything oh. except for a slytherin guys yeah <laughs> yeah pretty much anything yeah, but yeah, slytherin she's definitely not slytherin but the sure. one house i'm just like she definitely does not belong in no 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 <laughs> oh speaking of difficult because we like making things hard we're moving on to cia agent oh. teddy mcdonald aka reed thompson and as he heads up i and we will probably be using both names interchangeably because that's what happens when you want to be right. an undercover agent. You're going to get two names, pal. So <laughs> there's that. And I had so much trouble with this guy. I'm not going to lie. Between Reed and Sissy, I think, were the most difficult for me to place. But that's just me. <laughs> and I teeter on two. But I'm going to stick to my guns and pick one. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Gryffindor! Ravenclaw! Oh, so why did you say Gryffindor? So I say Gryffindor because he's... He leans towards justice. Like, I mean, while his justice, his sense of justice is skewed, obviously, he's doing this for the reasons of justice. He's trying to fight a war and he's trying to help these people fight a war. He doesn't care how he gets it done, which is a little bit more Slytherin, but he's not here for his own ambitions. Um, I see where you're coming from on the on the Ravenclaw though, um, but I chose Gryffindor because he's like very passionate and like he sometimes just like I feel like he does things with especially recently he just does things without like really thinking, but he could be like thinking it through in a way that I just can't see. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, <laughs> like, I just can't see the message. <laughs> yeah, I chose Ravenclaw, and this is gonna sound so simple. Um, he works for the Central Intelligence Agency, and Ravenclaws are big on intelligence. Okay, so, that's right. that makes yeah. sense for a job. <laughs> also, one thing I found interesting when like looking more into like the characteristics of each house. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm very familiar with my own house. I'm a Slytherin. Hi, if that wasn't obvious by the green. But um, <laughs> with Reed in particular, it's the obsessiveness to learn more. Mm -hmm. Like he always is looking to get as much information as possible even to the point where he's able to cross lines and isolate himself yeah. from like his loved ones and his family, yeah. like just to figure out or to improve upon what he's doing. I think that's for sure true. Mm -hmm. I said Ravenclaw because Reed is not a moral person, but he's definitely an ethical person. Spoiler mm -hmm. alert. Yes. The situation with Alton and 
you know, he, he kind of like ratted on him and whatever. And like, you think for a minute there, he's, he's not gonna neutralize the situation. And then you find out later that, yeah, he, that's, that's a part of the ethical code. You cannot like air my identity out on the radio and think you're going to get away with it. Is it morally right? No, but he has to do what he has to do. Mm -hmm. And he, um, is super proactive also because I, I think of that when I think of Ravenclaw is just very proactive reads kind of on top of situations before they even start and then when they do start if if he can't get to it in time he's he's gonna chop that thread down that actually when you said that reminds me of the scene I'm not gonna go into too much detail of like the context behind it mm -hmm. when there's pretty much just things are going down in the show so he's on, he has like all three pagers. He has three phones. He's calling Avi, oh, yeah, Gustavo, yeah. Franklin. Yeah. He's like, we got a 911. Oh, we got another 911. And he's buy like, the pay phone. Buy waiting, the pay it's phone. Whatever. <laughs> exactly. And I, and that when you said that, like he's really on top of it and yeah. proactive. He mm -hmm. was so on top of that situation. He's like, guys, I need y'all to do this for me. <laughs> yeah. Please pick up. Please pick up. All right. So Thank moving you. right along to our Final, final character for today, at least. Mm. Everyone's favorite, Gustavo. Gustavo. AKA El Oso, the luchador. <laughs> and now, like, drug dealer, I guess. Mm. <laughs> so for me, I just feel like, again, this is going to be a super simple reason. Very similar to read, and yeah. I feel like I'm being biased in this, but also like, yeah. Mm. All right, ready, ladies? Mm. Three, two, one. Gryffindor. 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 You said Hubble Bob? Yeah, I just he was another between him and Leon. They were like the hardest for me to try to like pin down. I can see Gryffindor too for sure. Yeah. So um, my easy answer, uh, El Oso translates to the bear and bears remind me of lions and <laughs> Gryffindor. That's how my brain works. Um, <laughs> also, he's super, super passionate. He's mm. a one man army. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just, I feel like with him, he gets dealt such terrible hands for such what I believe to be a nice guy he's in this big. world. Yeah. He's a very nice guy. Yeah. He's caring. And I feel like he gets still dealt the short end of the stick a lot. Mm a lot and it's not fair and he's a lovable passionate guy and but he gets his when he needs to get his um, mm -hmm. put that out there sure do. Mm -hmm. so sure why do you think he's a gryffindor i think he's a gryffindor because obviously i was going for the passion um and then you know his ability to just fucking act on shit like real fucking quick if he needs to like he was all about him and his girl, like, the entire time. He was just like, where'd my bitch go? <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I'm just so, I feel so bad for him for, like, everything that's, like, happened through. But he's very passionate. Um, and he's very driven. And, yeah, that's that's basically it. I was like, mm -hmm. he's got the passion. He's down to shoot when he needs to shoot. <laughs> he's, he's a shooter. shoot first, ask questions later. I think they're all almost shooters. But I like to <laughs> see okay. For now. <laughs> <laughs> for now. All right, she well, that wraps up today's sorting ceremony. I'd love to thank my special guests again, Cheryl and Jade. You can find <laughs> both of them on Twitter. Don't if they know. want to be found, I will <laughs> drop. Perkins, you'll see it. <laughs> yeah, all that stuff will be dropped down below. We're going to have more videos coming to you guys soon. Sorting ceremonies, snowfall talk, other fandom talk, whatever floats my boat, essentially. So again, I eat zebra on all platforms. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also in the comments, if you want to drop what house you're in, or if you would sort any of the characters differently, please let me know and check you guys in the next video. Bye.